Hey, I'm Ross Gay. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Um, there's a, a movie about Audre Lorde in Germany. It's beautiful. And, the, you know, she's getting ill at the end of her life, and she's still, like, feeding people and taking care of people. Um, and I remember there's a scene, and I think she's cooking and eating beets and she's sort of acknowledging how beautiful they look um, at the end of her life. Audre Lorde is a um, poet, an essayist, novelist, and everything else who's met the wor world to me. Can you see my shirt? <laughs> a Litany for Survival by Audre Lorde. For those of us who live at the shoreline, standing upon the constant edges of decision, crucial and alone, for those of us who cannot indulge the passing dreams of choice, who love in doorways coming and going, in the hours between dawns, looking inward and outward at once, before and after, seeking a now that can breed futures like bread in our children's mouths so their dreams will not reflect the death of ours. For those of us who are imprinted with fear like a faint line in the center of our foreheads, learning to be afraid with our mother's milk, for by this weapon, this illusion of some safety to be found, the heavy-footed hope to silence us. For all of us, this instant and this triumph, we were never meant to survive. And when the sun rises, we are afraid it might not remain. When the sun sets, we are afraid it might not rise in the morning. When our stomachs are full, we are afraid of indigestion. When our stomachs are empty, we are afraid we may never eat again. When we are loved, we are afraid love will vanish. When we are alone, we are afraid love will never return. And when we speak, we are afraid our words will not be heard nor welcomed. But when we are silent, we are still afraid. So it is better to speak remembering we were never meant to survive. 